And I think this is in my shopping list. When I can lose the 10 kilograms, I will buy the new clothes. <laughs> See your turn. What do you think about rotating to a new department? You may feel nervous because you, you leave your original comfort zone and face some new challenge. You may also feel excited because you are entering a new field and learning new things. I belong to the latter because I equal to, I eager to grow, I eager to learn. However, sometimes things may come out of your surprise. Three days before my rotation, my boss told me, Peter, because one of our colleagues will have a tree next week, so you have to you have to take his position at last time. Upon hearing the news, uh, I feel like there's a thunder shock around me. I think, what? You mean uh, I have to learn all the things in just three days and do his job directly? Is it possible? And to make things harder, I had a license pad at the same time. All the things come together. In daytime, my colleague will cram all the things he know into my brain, and to ensure that I could do his job well. Of work, not only did I, not only did I need to review all the things I learned today but also had to prepare for my license test. And it's so busy and so tired. One day, when I encounter a problem that I don't know how to deal with, I asked my colleague. He stayed at me and said, Peter, did you read the material I gave you yesterday? It's so embarrassed at that time. I said, uh, yes, but there are still something I don't understand very well. Could you teach me again? He frowned and said, well, it's OK. But you have to read it thoroughly, because it's important to you. And next time, when you face the same problem, you have to deal with it by your own. I feel a little guilty at that time, because I say I told a lie to him. I say yes, but actually, I didn't. And it was not until that moment he told me that I, I deeply realized I was not well prepared. I think it's a signal. I think it's a warning. I should change my attitude. And from that, I, <coughs> I should change my attitude. Even though the period is short, it's just three days, even though I just uh, substitute to him for just one week. Once you take the test, you take the responsibility. And this is the first thing I learned from my job rotation. No matter how long or how short, once you take the test, you take the responsibility. After that day, uh, I put much more effort on my work. Every day of week, uh, every day of work. I will, I will read my material and know thoroughly again and again. Besides, I will imagine any possible situation I could face and run through the process to ensure that I could do it right and fast. Before going to bed, I will write down what I should do tomorrow. And coming to the company earlier, take a few minutes to organize the schedule, my daily schedule today. With those efforts, my working performance become better. I feel happy, but something terrible happened. I made a mistake. I made a mistake when I decided the exchange rate. <laughs> That's awful, and I feel depressed. And because of my typo, I, I caused a loss to my company. My boss didn't blame me, but I blame myself. Last night, I talked to my father. I called him a call, and he encouraged me a lot. 
He said, the first thing is done, it couldn't be undo. Even though a bad teacher would be hit a home run. But the difference between a normal player and an excellent player is that an excellent player will forget this negative value and uh, restart again. If you are boss didn't train you, didn't train you, you don't need to train yourself too much. After all, training yourself won't make you better, right? With my with my dad's encouragement, I release my feelings and uh, regain the energy. And that's the another thing I learned from my job rotation. What's done is done. It couldn't be undo. And don't let the negative feeling influence your performance next time. Forget the mistake. Forget the mistake you make, but never forget the lesson you learn. Thank you. Okay.